G'day, it's Rob here again. Um, as you know, well, regular viewers will know, I do a bit of, bit of backyard melting of aluminium and I've uh, been known to cast the odd uh, aluminium gear blank. And uh, in fact, if you uh, click on the link shown here, you can see the, the, this little furnace going uh, in action. And uh, it's just basically some brick concrete blocks with a metal grid, uh, grill in there from an old barbecue and, uh, and it just runs on wood and uh, yeah it melts the aluminium fine and here you can see my wood heap it's just old pallets uh, sawn up any old junk scrap timber and that's all I use to feed the fire with but um, using t a wood or even if you're using um, charcoal uh, it's uh, it's necessary to use some sort of forced air feed to get the temperature high enough to melt the uh, aluminium um, well and also to do it quickly otherwise you'd be there forever so I'll show you what I used uh, initially to do my backyard melting and I'll show you what I've got now right well when I first started off doing my backyard melting um, I use this. It's just a simple hair dryer uh, which you can run uh, without the heat setting being on. And I just put a tube on the end of it, an old vacuum cleaner tube, metal tube, uh, so I can stick it in the fire and uh, turn it on and get, you know, a good increase in uh, in combustion and get the temperature up. And it worked okay. I mean, it's not the most powerful blowing device in the world but I happen to have it, it was in the shed and I use it for sort of heating up plastic and expanding stuff at times you know I got it junk day someone threw it out and it works perfectly but it's not really it's okay but it's a bit slow so I went to the Mark II version and here's the Mark II version it's uh, just an old 1200 watt Sanyo vacuum cleaner and instead of uh, sucking we're using it to blow so the hose goes uh, in the exhaust end and it it puts out quite a bit of air this is another item i picked up on junk day people throw out huh, amazing stuff you know perfectly good stuff i mean this looks like it hardly done any work at all when i got it and i use it for my workshop vacuum cleaner works great so yeah it uh, it provides plenty of air to your uh, wood or uh, charcoal fire the only thing, only thing is it's using 1200 watts and if you're running it for quite a while, which you will do when you're melting aluminium, it's a lot of electricity. And just to blow a bit of air into a fire. So uh, there had to be a better way. And uh, I looked around and, and it was. So I'll show you what I got, the Mark III version. Right, well, here's the Mark III version. And what is it? It's a... Uh, it's a blower unit uh, for one of those kids blow up water slides and they have them on those kids bouncy castle things and it's uh, it's only using 480 watt so in comparison to the 1200 watt vacuum cleaner uh, which you know blew you know reasonably okay we've now got a dedicated blower 480 watt and all we got to do is just Make up an adapter just so you can put a vacuum cleaner hose on it. There's your vacuum cleaner hose. And uh, you're good to go. So, what did it cost me? It cost me $20. I got it off of Craigslist, uh, equivalent in Australia, which is called Gumtree. And uh, you see these things going, you know, out every so often. People sell them generally around the sort of $40 mark. This one was $20 and it was cheap enough for me. Generally they sell them because some fat kids jumped on the water slide and popped it or uh, the dogs chewed up the water slide or the bouncy castle and the, or the kids are grown out and they're too big and uh, they get rid of it. It's a great unit. I mean, you buy one of these new on eBay, you're going to pay over $100 for it, easy. And uh, people will sell them for 20, 30, 40 bucks. So if you want to uh, power your forge or uh, you've got a furnace, you want to, uh, you know, really crank up the heat on it. How about this, baby, eh? Hey, not bad. What's it like? Well, they're a bit noisy, but it, uh, 
It's got plenty of puff. We'll turn it on. Well, I can't demonstrate it's just blowing air, but it's uh, it's pretty good. And uh, there we go. Yep, there you go. It works. So there you go, uh, a dedicated blower for 20 bucks. Pretty good, eh? But it gets better. <laughs> There's a bit more you can do to these if you want to go down this path, and I'll show you what I did. Um, whether I'll uh, use it or not, I'll have to see, but uh, the output on this is pretty good. It's pretty well perfect for a, uh, for a furnace. If it's too much, uh, it'd be nice to be able to wind it back a bit, and there is a way you can wind these back. Um, you know, if you find it's putting too much air in there, um, and I'll show you how I did it. And once again, it, it it costs very little. So what else did I buy? Well, I got this. It's uh, from the internet, from China. It cost me the princely sum of three dollars and ten cents, and it's a an AC motor speed control. It's a simple pulse width modulation unit and uh, they've been around for donkeys you know for years and uh, they can basically wind back the speed on a uh, on a brushless AC motor. Um, in this case we're going to use it on the fan on the blower the downside on these units is that like all these simple uh, AC speed controllers you'll get a cogging effect where you'll hear the sort of do 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 um, uh, rotational noise as the, as the speed drops because it's, uh, it's not uh, being driven by as many pulses uh, as the speed as the voltage drops but they'll drive a fan okay where it's not uh, an issue and we get a bit of cogging um, you can drive other motors, uh, control other motors with these little modules. Um, if you're thinking of putting one on a lathe to knock your speed back, well, you could try it. If you do do that, you would have to put it between the magnetic uh, activator on-off switch and the motor. You can't put it before the magnetic activator switch, the safety switch, because when your voltage drops, the magnetic safety switch will cut out or turn itself off. So you'd have to put it between the, the switch that's the safety switch and the uh, and the motor. It could be one way of getting your lay spindle speed back. Um, I haven't tried it. Uh, maybe someone can give it a go and tell me how it works. Now this particular unit is a 2000 watt uh, 240 volt unit, so it's quite a you know quite a capable little unit. And uh, I've got some insulated gloves on because I've only wiped this up temporarily, so I don't want to kill myself on video and. Uh, like I keep myself, so we'll turn it on, turn on the blower. We'll turn back the speed. You can hear that pulsing that cogging and wind it up, but the speeds drop back a lot. Pretty effective, isn't it? three dollars and ten cents you've got a, a variable speed blower and it's a good heavy duty blower at that so yeah if you're going to do a bit of backyard uh, smelting or you're doing it already um, and you want a blower a cheap blower look on Craigslist or Gumtree and get yourself some kids some poor kids um, junk well no longer required uh, bouncy castle or water slide blower and uh, you're good to go. 
Okay, that's another tip from me. Stay cool, see you next time.